now right to recording so hi you guys and welcome to my channel i'm back with a new reaction video so you guys have requested me to check out a video called nba nba legends and players explain why michael jordan would destroy today's nba and this statement is definitely debatable i've seen the comments where i feel like i've got a picture that is two sides uh, in this discussion and while once I said that, like, uh, the old generation and the old players, uh, they were more ruthless, it was tough for, uh, you know, have their arguments. But then it's the other side that says, sheesh, that in today's uh, climate and players that they would just destroy the players from back in the day. So it's definitely arguments for both sides, but we are talking about Michael Jordan. We're not just talking about any player. So we're going to see. What they're talking about the arguments and all that so i'm gonna stop rambling and let's get straight into this video all right let's see so you probably heard the media or people that watch michael jordan play live say that he could average 45 to 50 points in today's nba and if i had to give my take on it james harden averaged 36 points per game on 44 percent field goal shooting in this era demar DeRozan had a scoring streak averaging at least 35 points per game this season and i brought DeRozan up because offensively he got the same mid-range game like we'll michael jordan and this was the best season of his career keep in mind both of these players are not even in the same stratosphere as michael jordan Jordan averaged 37 points in a season with hand checking. Imagine no hand checking with the defensive three second rule that the NBA implemented in the 2001 02 season. Michael Jordan will be. I'm not gonna lie, what is hand checking? Hand checking? Never heard of that before. I'm sorry. He's slashing every second. And I suggest you, after this video, watch Luka Doncic on JJ Reddick's podcast. Yeah, he explained why it's easier to score in the NBA than in Europe. So anyway, I know Jordan will be unstoppable with modern spacing and no hand checking. Also, I'm not mm. fond of the myth that Jordan was a terrible three-point shooter in his early years. In his first four years in the league, he never shot over 73 pointers in a single season. That's less than one attempt per game. The three-point shot wasn't a oh. focal point in Jordan's era. When he was 26 yeah, was years old, in the 89 90 season, he shot 245 three pointers. He made over 37% of them. That is a good three point percentage. And in the 96 season, he shot 42% from the three point line. And mm. even though the three point shot wasn't a renowned part of his game, he would have shot a few more three pointers in today's NBA. If I had to give an estimate, he would have had a season where he averaged 40 to 43 points per game. So I want to show you NBA legends and players who talked about how good Michael Jordan will be in today's NBA. So enjoy the video, man. How would you envision what would Michael Jordan be if he played in the game today the way the game is different from the way it was in his era? He'd average 45, and the league would be complaining about two players. I'd be like, Mike is too, is too good, and the kid named Shaq down in Orlando. Is too down. <laughs> what course. are we going to do? When you think back to what those defenses were allowed to do and how defenses played now in the NBA, what would Michael Jordan do in today's NBA? Uh, probably average 45, 50 a game. For as LeBron and, and, and Michael, if Michael played in this era, he'll average 50. they average 50 points. How many points do you think Jordan could average in today's NBA? What's the most he ever averaged, 37? <laughs> uh, 37 one. All right, so 40 easy. Go. 40 easy. 40? 40. 40 easy. Yeah, 40 easy. Like, like. 40 is easy. 40 would be easy for Black Jesus. Cause Harden, I think easy. Harden, Harden a couple of years ago averaged 36. So you go, so you, right. so you figure Jordan could average 40 with no problem. I'm gonna ask both of you guys. And you add to that when he had, when he averaged 37, he was doing it with twos. It wasn't even no what? three. They weren't, they weren't shooting three pointers like how they shoot now. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause just, just imagine if Michael like decided to shoot six, seven threes a game like they do now. Like 40 would have been easy. Michael played today. Mm. Yeah. He probably averaged almost 50 a game. I mean, he really would because you wouldn't be able to touch him on the perimeter, so he'd be shooting. A ton of free throws. Yeah, so when everybody does this, like, Michael LeBron comparison, it's like you, you almost can't. It's not the same game it's that they're the playing. It's not the same game. You're right. It's not It's not the same game. I would have loved to see LeBron Back play, play during in the 90s. You played in both eras. How many points do you think Jordan would literally average per game? Today? Today. Whew. 
<laughs> More than James Harden. <laughs> James Harden had a season he averaged 36. More than that. For sure. Really? For sure. And I, I was and at that's the Jordan a compliment yeah. to James Harden. I was in the LeBron, Kobe, yeah. Duncan, and I was at the tail end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, 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 sit, I, I played with these guys. Right. I've seen all the three-point balls right. go up. They can't. Jordan would Jordan. No way. Jordan, Jordan would average 50. You believe Jordan would average 50? If he wanted to. Right. Like James Harden wants to average 50. He just can't. Mm. Right. Yeah, 38. Right. Amazing. Right. If Jordan wants to average 50, if he, if he was playing his era, I think he averages 50. And this is no disrespect to any of the guys. Current players. That's killing, like right. KD, you know. Yeah, all those guys. Yeah, uh, yeah not a lot of guys. Steph and LeBron, LeBron and all those no guys. Yeah. Man between 45 and 50 because it reminded me so much of how Wilt Chamberlain seemed to be just dropped in a different era when he was averaging 50 and 25. That's what Michael Jordan represented for the era he came in. Think about it. He was MVP of the league while teams were still flying commercial. Okay? The rigor isn't Come the on, same. Come on, there's nothing wrong with the commercial. physicality in today's game isn't the same. And one of the things that you didn't acknowledge, all NBA defense, he will be getting steals. He will be getting out in transition, catching lobs, three on two, two on one and also getting to the free throw line. In the NBA Finals in the early 90s, he scored 63 in the 80s versus the great Boston Celtics. And yes, there are a handful of great defensive teams in today's game. The Bucks, both teams in LA, the Toronto Raptors. But you know what else it is, Greeny? A lot of bottom feeders. So say against the great teams, he would average 40, no doubt. Against the bad teams, <laughs> the lottery teams, he would definitely huh. average 40. 50 against those squads. What about these other guys who are playing no, in today's Jordan, Jordan would have averaged 45 50. In today's the game. The point I was making is you allow great shooters freedom to roam, freedom with no hand check. You can't crowd me, and I got a clear mean? sight at the rim, then it's going to be lights out, baby. I'm sorry. I might, I might have to look this up. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Mm, okay. Ah, I got it. Okay, so I get it now. Oh, this makes everything so much clearer. Mm, I understand the rule now. But it's so hard to yeah, play he, defense. He will get so many fouls. Because Ooh. they allow the offense. Now I see the whole thing go differently. They want. Okay, but if Jordan's averaging... Because they didn't have it back during his time, no? Right? I mean, be honest here. If Jordan in his prime, Jordan in the early 90s, is in averaging... today's rules. Yeah, today's rules is averaging 40. He would average 40. Okay. I think he would average 40. Okay, right, but he didn't right. he average 39 one year, or 37.1. So Kobe's going to average 40. Kobe would be up there. Kobe would be up there as well. In today's game, right, the rules Kobe. as they are, how would Jordan do, and how many points do you believe he would average? I don't think anybody's averaging 60 or 70. Okay. So that's, I mean, th those days are over with. Mm. Um, Nobody go get Will 50 a game, huh? Not 50 a game. No, that's not going to happen. Um, but I will say this. Michael Jordan would average whatever he want to average. He's, you believe he can get 40 a night? Yeah, he can. I mean, yeah. If, 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 yeah, there's no question about it. <laughs> 40 a night, yeah, there's, there's 40. No, yeah. How are you going to get for it? If you go to I, I don't, I, I'm not here to break it down and decipher it. I'm telling you as a witness, I'm testifying <laughs> on behalf of Michael Jeffrey Jordan that he would average 40 a night. If we, we see guys averaging 30. Right. And 35. With all due respect, that don't have the arsenal that he has offensively. Well, you know you have to add that three ball. You got to add the three ball to get to 40. Because you look at the guy, Harden, was the last guy face Harden average, what, 36? And that step back three, he put that in. Obviously, the free throw. Jordan went to the free throw line a lot. I don't, he didn't go as much as uh, Harden. But I don't know how you get to 40 without that three ball. Well, Jordan's going to go to the free throw line more than he did <laughs> back then because we were able to beat him up. Right. And it was ignored to right. a certain mm. extent. Okay. So, and I, I and see. He, he added the three ball in his career. I mean, all due respect, those are not jeans. Those are leggings. Look at them. They're, they're too tight. Sorry. You watch him against the Blazers and knock down three. That wasn't his specialty. Right. But it wasn't like he was a liability shooting the basketball. Michael Jordan would average whatever he wanted to average. Mm. No, his numbers are definitely being inflated. If you, if you thought James Harden got to the line a lot, Jordan would average 20 free throws 
probably every night. Um, you got to understand, he would evolve into, uh, into this era. You know, the Jordan that we saw young, athletic, get into the basket, based on, you know, what we've seen in this era, he will, you would see a Jordan probably shooting more threes too. Mm -hmm. So he would definitely evolve. You know, he averaging 35 at one point. I can see him really pushing at the 40. I don't know about 50, 60, but like, you know, mid forties, I can see that possibly happening. I don't know if he will shoot 75% from the field, but Paul for his career, I think he averaged like eight and a half, 8.8 .8 free throw attempts per game. So like, that's at least going to double. That's yeah. going to 20 per game in today's age. And also, I mean, pace and space. Think about how physical the game was back then. You pretty much get put on your back every time you went to the bucket. Now, all of a sudden, somebody blows on your wrist or hits your hand, that's a foul? Like, so, yeah, even though he would have taken more threes if he lived in today's age, still his mid-range game was on point. His skill level, he still would be considered one of the most skilled, if not the most skilled in the league today. Um, I think, I don't know, 75%, but he would, he would be averaging in the 40s for sure. What both of you guys are saying is right. The pace has increased. The three-point shot has increased. Players up front have gotten smaller. So now driving to the basket, he gonna be dunking on everybody. Yeah. Just, just think about that. Like KD is like a four in today's game. Mm -hmm. So now like he, and then here's the other thing. If Harden can average 36, 37 right now, James Harden is averaging that right now. He's getting none of those points off his defense. Jordan gonna be getting steals. He gonna be getting blocks. He gonna be out on fast break. I, I say like about four, we will be having a conversation. Can somebody average 50 besides Will? He'll be like 47, 48. Hmm. All right, I, I really believe it. One is the best, five is subpar. All right, not so mm -hmm. good. So you get a chance to rank one through five. Mm -hmm. Psychologically, how do you rank Michael Jordan? Psychologically? The scale of one to five? One to five, one being the best, five being the worst. <laughs> one. One. Ball handling. One. Okay. Yeah. Defender. One. Mid range jumper. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> like, <laughs> <I didn't run. laughs> oh. Like I said, he was a pure shooter. Like I don't think anybody in the league at that point was shooting the ball better than him. He was shooting fifty plus percent from the field at the guard position, shooting all J's, like you have to be a pure shooter. And everything was touching bottoms, like yeah, one, zero. You go zero with that one. How do you, how do you, what do you think Jordan will average? Where do you think he would fit in? I mean, he can adapt his game to anything. He would fit in as the best player in the league. Like <laughs> that's what he would be. And, you know, I feel like if he'll have more possessions to do more things but there's also more athleticism in this game. And there's more length in this game, but, you know, it's, it's also in it, more space for MJ to go to work. So, I mean, we'll never know, but for sure, I mean, he's a master, you know, masterful basketball player. Like we've been saying, his skill level is unmatched. So, of course, he'll, he'll do numbers in this league today. Wow. So I think he pr I probably got lost because, like, one was the worst and five was the best. And he ranked everything one or zero. Like, that's not good. Or am, am I missing something? I'm sorry, English is not my first language. I need to hear it one more time to understand it. I, I just need to listen again. How do, you, how do you, what do you think Jordan will average? Where do you think he would fit in? I mean, he can adapt his game to anything. He would fit in. I'm sorry. I just need to. Okay. Is subpar. All right, not so good. So you get a chance to rank one through five. One through five. Psychologically, how do you rank Michael Jordan? The scale of one to five? One to five. One being the best, five being the worst. <laughs> one. One. See, what does that mean? Because like psychologically, like he, he had a strong, like, my, like, I, I don't understand this one. I'm sorry. Psychologically, he said one. I would say five. Four or five, like, like it was like he was strong, Men like the mentality was strong. I don't know you guys have to call me because I'm not listening to this again. But it was like I don't really get it. Probably misunderstanding something here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. All and right, tell me, it. how many points do you think Michael Jordan would average in today's NBA? Mm, I'm very curious because here, 
obviously he's deserving all the praise uh, most definitely but i'm curious what the other arguments is because i really like when you're having a debate that you hear on both sides like the reason for them but also you know maybe not why it's gonna happen but this is for though that they explaining why he would destroy today's nba so i'm gonna just be quiet jesus <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video though i think it was very interesting and i learned the uh, the handshake rule i get it now i, I mean i i knew that that was a foul but i didn't know that they called it the handshake rule anyways that's something every day guys but like comment subscribe all that good stuff and yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video appreciate you watching bye <sighs> I'm still curious mm, with this one though. Yeah. To see what he's saying with uh, Kevin Durant.